I'm really busy. Do I have kept your wedding so long? I never wanted to see your wedding. Shatota Chado, the Mano Protista, ATMs. Hello, dear viewers and my students, welcome to my channel ATM Sir. Today I'm going to discuss situational conversations. And situational conversation is something that's vitally important while talking with others. It's not all about English speaking, it's not all about making sentences. It's not all about something that we know how to make sentences. It's all about the behavior that's showing to the people we're speaking with. Dear viewers, I hope that you have subscribed to my channel ATM Sir. Those didn't yet, please subscribe to my channel ATM Sir. And please don't forget to press the bell button to get the notifications right after the videos get uploaded to my channel ATM Sir. So I hope that this lesson will help you understand situational conversations. First, the things I will say to Boyd, these are Dear viewers, now the first situation, situation number one. If someone asks you to know something about, if someone asks you for some help, so don't say something, the kind of thing the people do straight no. So avoid straight no, saying the kind of things like, I don't, I can't, I can't help you. I don't have. These are the things, really, I mean, bad manners, something reflecting that you are not soft. You are saying something too harsh. So don't sound harsh. Rather, you show some excuses. So you show some excuses so that the people you are speaking with or the person speaking with, he or she will understand that you are uh, having some problems so you are in a situation not able to do so don't say like this so rather you can do something like this someone says something the address or location or anything about the hell that you can do you cannot do don't say I can't don't say I don't don't say I don't have so what you can do is I'm afraid the very nice and polite expression is something afraid so so use I'm afraid instead of saying straight no. So avoid straight no. Rather, you use I'm afraid. So how to approach this? Uh, can you help me regarding this? You are not able to right now. So what you need to do is I'm afraid I'm really engaged with something else and that will take uh, another hour to do. So I'll just do it I mean, later if you just don't mind or if you don't have any problem. So I said something like this. Another pro approach is something, um, can you help me giving the dress right now? So if you don't know really that dress he's asking or she's asking for, what you need to do is to say something, I'm afraid I don't have the information about the address you ask me. Rather, I'm just let you know after I come to know. So what you can do, I'll just let you know, I'll just let you know after I get to know or after I come to know about. So he or she will be happy with their approach. Dear viewers, now I'll talk about situation number two. If someone asks you for some favor, if he or she asks you something, uh, can you do me a favor uh, completing the task by this evening today? Okay, once again. Can you do me a favor completing the task by this evening today? And you are not supposed to do. You are really engaged with something. What you can do, don't say. First you see, look at this. What is the wrong approach? So look at the wrong approach first. Wrong approach is, I'll try. Or, let's see. I'll try or let's see. These are the approaches show that you are not really serious about the favor he or she is making. So what you need to do is something in the right way to say. It's not all about English I said before. It's all about the attitude you are showing to the people you are speaking with. So now see and look at the right approach. So right approach. 
right to process something. I'm awfully burdened with a lot of work today. Uh, can I have it done by tomorrow or any time I can manage to get it done? So can I have it done tomorrow or any time I can get to, I can manage to get it done? So this is something that you are showing excuse. You are not even refusing the person. You are not really denying the person he is asking for. So what you can do, you can show some excuse so that the person will feel better to speak with. This is the right way to speak with. In international communication, you have to speak better, not the way you do. Dear viewers, now I'll talk about situation number three. Situational conversation three is something about if you have to keep someone busy. So don't say the way I'm saying. First of all, the wrong way. See the wrong way. I'm busy or I have a lot of work. I said something, I'm busy or I have a lot of work now. Rather, what you can do, so don't show by English that you are just um, keeping some person waiting just for the sake of keeping waiting. So don't show him or don't show her that you are in a bad manner or you are just showing that you have a lot of work and you are just letting the person go. So rather, you can feel the person better. How? See the right approach. I'm really sorry to have kept you waiting so long. One second, you see, I'm really sorry to have kept you waiting so long. I never wanted to see you waiting. So I'm really busy to have kept you waiting so long. I never wanted to see you waiting. So this is another approach that will show the, I mean, something that you are behaving the person with a nice way. And you are just feeling for someone. You have a soft heart and you are in an international conversation. So this is what the approach that you have to make, not the way you do usually. So I hope that actually this video will help you understand things better, will help you situation, understand the situation better, and to communicate better in any international communication I mean, platform. So I hope that actually you will just I mean, share the video, because the video will really help a lot of people who are making I mean, wrong approaches and were going wrong. So please, I mean, share the video to let us know the right approaches in situations while they are in conversation. And my request is something. If you have any doubts, if you have any problems, if you have anything about the queries or something like this to ask me, so please comment. So that actually the comment will help me understand the things you're not understanding too. So things you're understanding is not okay, it's not a problem. Problem is things you're not understanding. So let me know the things you're not understanding. I really take care every piece of work, every piece of query that you're making in the comments. And before I leave today, subscribe to my channel, ATM Sir. And please don't forget to press the bell button to get the notifications right after the videos get uploaded to my channel, ATM Sir. Thanks for watching. Thanks for staying tuned. Stay happy, stay healthy.